Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Labor Day, September 4th, 2023. So if you wanna see what I've been working on this past week, please stay tuned. Can you believe that it is already September? I meant to film this video on Friday and then I was like, I need to film it on Saturday and then on Sunday and it just never happened. And since today is Labor Day and I have some time, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick update on what I've been working on. I'm very excited to share everything that I've been able to do this week. I hope that you're having a great week and that you enjoy. Um, get some rest today if you can for Labor Day. Um, but let's get started on what I have done. I have finished one complete, oh, project and this is that huge t-shirt quilt that I've been working on. I have um, a little snippet of uh, video that I want to share but the video doesn't have the completed quilt so I'll put some pictures at least one picture at the end of the completed quilt. I will show you um, I have put a hanging sleeve on the back and I put a flange binding on it and um, I don't know how well you can see that, but there is gonna be a close-up picture of that. So let's take a look at those, um, at those little snippets, and then we'll talk about some of the other things that I've been working on. We are down to the last stages of this quilt, this big t-shirt quilt. I have it all quilted, and I cut the extra batting and backing away. It is turned out really, really great. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not gonna zoom in too close on the quilting, but I will let you kind of see it. Um, the pattern that I used is called the Alternating Baptist Fan. I figured if we were doing the Jacob's Ladder quilt block, we should do the Baptist Fan as a quilting um, pattern. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of this quilting. You might be able to see it really well on this black block. Those are my socks black block down here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is a nice all over design and you can actually see it pretty nicely. So there you go. There are some places where it kind of um, puckered a little bit. The seam, uh, um, the, uh, the intersections were a little thick in some spots. And so the, um, the pattern kind of moved itself and like I said I won't zoom in on any of that but I'm just kind of giving you a little look at the quilting it turned out really great look at that and I used a gray thread to match the backing so I'll let you see a little bit of the backing and I still have to tuck some threads in this is the the backing that I got from Hobby Lobby, that Paisley. And it is a 108, so it is pretty cool. Um, but I'm super excited about this quilt. And all I have to do now is I'm gonna add a hanging sleeve and I have my binding already made. I will uh, put the label, I purchased a label from Etsy. And so I'm gonna put the label in one of the corners so that as I stitch the binding on, it's gonna be added. But it is so nice. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Can't wait to see it all finished. Here's another layout that I am working on for a t-shirt quilt that I have to make. Uh, these are all family reunion t-shirts. And so what I'm doing is I have them here as a, um, in order from oldest to newest. And you can see right here, second, the second one on the second row, that's a block that I had to piece. And so I pieced it so that I could get the, um, the size that I needed so that it matched the other ones. And I was able to use some designs from the backs of some of the shirts. And I'm really happy with the colors, I was a little bit concerned that the colors wouldn't um, do right in order, that there would be some kind of 
you know, just something weird. And the only, the only one that I have issue with is these two white ones here. But since they're in order, it is what it is. And I sent this layout to, um, to the person that I'm making it for, and she's pretty happy with it. So I will be stitching these together today. Hopefully, um, this can be on the long arm later on today, which would be amazing. But um, I'm happy that I have the shirts cut and stabilized and in their layout ready to go. Now that you've seen both of the t-shirt quilts, one completed and one that I'm basically just starting, um, I'll show you a couple of other things that I've been working on. I was um, pulling some fabrics for this quilt behind me that I'll talk about in just a minute. And there are two um, fabrics that I just am not sure what to do with or I wasn't sure what to do with. I have an idea now and I'll share it quickly, but let me show you these two fabrics. The first one is this little stripe here that is very bold and I tried to make it a, um, a border for another quilt and it was just too much. And then the same for this one is like this wild paisley. And um, I really like both of these fabrics. I didn't purchase them because they're not really my normal style, but I do like them. And so I put them in a box and I'm going to make a second jewelry box quilt with them. I'm still thinking through the process. I did pull some, um, some strips here from my stash and I pulled some um, five inch squares, uh, but I am still like thinking about how to uh, organize this quilt. But what I decided to do, because I have several things going on, is I just put it in a project box and I'm gonna label it and put it to the side for a little bit um, so that I can complete some other things first. But I was inspired by my first jewelry box quilt. I'm gonna put a picture of it here and a link to the playlist. I actually went back and watched the entire playlist for that quilt. And I think it's gonna be a good use of this really bold fabric. And maybe I'll take you along with me on that journey so that you can see the process of putting another jewelry box quilt together. Um, if I do this one, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the first one. So I'm excited to see how that comes together, but I just had to put it in a box. If I don't see it, then I won't think about it as much and I'll just kind of put it on a list of projects to do later. So um, another thing, I guess the only other, well, I'll start here. I do have an order of bears that is coming up. I'm gonna work on this t-shirt quilt as my main project. And then I have these shirts that are going to be for bears. That will be kind of my minor project until I get this quilt done. Um, these have to be done by Christmas. So I think that I have plenty of time. And I think that this t-shirt quilt is gonna be relatively quick to, um, to put together and get quilted. So hopefully I'll be starting on these in just a little bit. The last project that I want to share is here behind me. Let me zoom out first and then we'll start to talk about it. I decided to just um, take the camera, take my phone off of the tripod to get a little bit closer to this quilt top. This is the one that was inspired by Chris O'Neill at the So The Distance um, channel on YouTube. And I decided to use yellow, black, and white to, um, to make this quilt. It's made out of two and a half inch strips. And um, it has two types of long strip sets. There's one here at the top that has two, and then two in the middle, right there. There's one, and then there's the other one that has four. And then at the very bottom, it has two again. And then there are several other strip sets that are cut into squares. And you can see those in the middle and in the, between each of the, um, the long strip sets. And then it has piano keys at the top and at the bottom. Now, I really am happy with the way that this turned out. I'm going to put a picture of it here before I put this border on it because I was not happy with it at first. And um, the reason that I wasn't happy with it was because I have the color here up at the top and then here up at the bottom. So I, I used 
um, black and yellow and white for the most part. And then, but I gave myself two um, colors, uh, like two really colorful parts. So um, I wasn't happy because I thought that it needed more color like in a border. Um, so I decided to add this black border around it and the border is two and a half inch strips. So it's going to finish at two inches. Um, and I immediately was much happier with this, but I still want to try and add a border. So I've tried several different looks for this quilt and I'm going to just go through them quickly. I'm just going to put the pictures of them here for each one of those looks. Um, there was only one that I was like, if I had my um, favorite one, it would be the one with the license place up at the top, but I couldn't, um, I didn't have enough of that fabric. So, and of course the goal is not to buy anything. I haven't purchased anything for this. And so I called one of my quilting friends and we looked at all of those options together. Nothing really seemed to work. Um, and she suggested trying a gray and the gray that I'm going to go with is pretty much the same color as my um, design wall. So it's, and what's cool about this, I guess, is that it's the same paisley that I've used to back several of my um, quilts, several of the t-shirt quilts. So I'm gonna put it up right here so that you can kind of see it next to it. I'm sorry, I'm moving the phone. But here it is, and I hope this piece is kind of wide, so I hope that it stays up. But yeah, so that's going to be the border here. Um, and then I'm going to make a flange binding. And I was going to use black with, um, with gold, but now I think I'm going to go with a gray. I'm going to go with this gray with the numbers. I think I'm going to do that as my binding. Um, but what is very interesting, this quilt right now is about 44 wide by 60 long. And um, so I'm going to add a three and a half inch border to make it just a little bit bigger. And I already know who it is going to. It's going to be a baby quilt for somebody. So I'm excited about that. Can't wait to see it all put together. Um, so this is going to kind of be like my own personal project, mainly because I want to get it off of my design wall and because that baby is due in October. So hopefully I can have it ready before the baby comes. So really happy with this. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is a super simple, um, pattern, simple sewing, and I'm excited that I was able to get it finished. I'm very excited about... Um, all of the projects that I get to start and work on over this next week. My main focus, of course, is going to be this t-shirt quilt first, then the bears, then this thing behind me. Um, just excited to get everything completed and to be able to work on it at all. I hope that you're enjoying your crafting time. Let me know in the comments what you're working on. I would love to hear it. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!